Fans back in the building in the NBA playoffs. Fans back in the building. Mm-hmm. Whoever threw the popcorn at uh, Russell Westbrook should be should be shamed, yeah. should be canceled. Let's use the phrase that pays these days. Absolutely. <laughs> Make a mistake. You deserve another shot. Sure. That's why he was indefinitely, or she, I don't believe yeah, we the, don't know who, we the, don't know who it is. the gender yeah, of the yeah. fan it was, was he. identified. He, was it he? Yeah, okay. it was he. So that he was uh, indefinitely uh, banned from... Uh, all events inside the home of the Philadelphia 76ers indefinitely. So I don't know how you earn your way back in a building. Do you go and you apologize to the general manager? I don't know what it, how you do. But um, the season tickets of this fan has been revoked. Kudos on the Philadelphia 76ers for doing what they did. Was it First Union? Is that the name of the uh, facility? Mm-hmm. Uh, Wells, Fargo. Wells, Wells Fargo. I'm sorry. Yeah. Wells Fargo. I'm sorry. A lot of banks. I, I just do my banking with one bank, neither of which I just mentioned. <laughs> At any rate, I am not the biggest Russell Westbrook fan, okay? I am not. I I, I, I do love his energy. I do love uh, everything that Jeff Van Gundy said the other day that he wants to win and and and, and everything, it seems like he tries his he, he puts a hundred million percent into everything that he does. Yeah. But I, I only say that I am not the biggest Russell Westbrook fan. If, you had, if, I had, if, if I had to name you my 10 favorite NBA players, he might not be one of them. Okay? The reason why I front load this is to say I, I, I still stand in his defense. Of course. I don't like to hear anything that is disrespectful towards anybody. Nobody, even as they're getting sent off, deserves to have anything thrown on them. It doesn't matter if it's liquid, solid, heavy, soft, light. doesn't matter. Russell Westbrook had every right to say this after the game last night when a fan threw popcorn on him. I don't know, bro. Uh, unfortunately, you know, I was leaving out, and then I just seen so popcorn on top of my head, you know. Um, and to be blatantly honest, man, this shit is getting out of hand, uh, especially for me. Um, just the amount of disrespect, the amount of just fans just doing whatever the they want to do. It's just it's out of pocket, man. It's out of pocket, seriously. Like, in the other setting, uh, you know, I'm, I'm all for the fans enjoying the game and having fun. And, you know, it's part of sports. I get it. Uh, but there are certain things that cross the line. Uh, and any other setting, I know for a fact that fans and they wouldn't come up. And a guy wouldn't come on the street and pour popcorn on my head because he know what happened. That's right, damn straight. He know what happened. <laughs> yep. And you know what? Here's I'll just do one better. You know what the fan would probably do if they see Russell Westbrook on the street? Hey, Russ. Hey, man, I love you, Russ. You're amazing. I want a selfie. I want an autograph. Yeah. <laughs> big fan. Big fan. Big fan. I love you, man. I've seen fans boo Roger Goodell like crazy, and then Roger Goodell goes in the in the stands of the draft, and they're all not now they're they're selfie, mm-hmm. selfie, selfie. Fact, and you know, I, I'll also say this in advance of tonight's Kyrie Irving return to Boston. I know you were upset about his uh, comments the tomorrow, other day. Yeah, is it tomorrow? It's okay, tomorrow. Yeah, I, right. I didn't like. It. I, you didn't like it because you're not one of those fans that's going to scream racist stuff at him. Uh, that's true. And and him saying something about what uh, what was the phrase that he used that subtle racism. subtle racism, yeah. right? That you as somebody who would never do anything like that don't want to be painted with the same brush as somebody who probably does. Okay? It's not like that's never happened in the history of sports, let alone in the city of Boston. That's true. It happens And everywhere. you don't want to be pointed, p- painted as a broad brush. And that's the problem with Kyrie saying what he had to say in that regard is that he paints everybody with that brush. And your point was, hey, Kyrie, we wanted to make you the mayor of this town. You yeah. had every right to do it with your play and everything else that went there and obviously it didn't happen. You know, it's just he's just passing blame for his role and why you know things are going to be said in his direction. But yeah, let's that there, said, there's a still, big but there. There's man. a big like, but. It yes, should not have to be. But, but it, it, no, no, it, no, 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 no. It is. So a, it is a it, point it, to be it made. It best not be racist, subtle, or otherwise. Right. Like he said, it's, keep it to basketball. Keep it to basketball, and that's fine. 
Yeah, so to anyone getting mad about that, like, and agree, like, you're not the guy who would do that. But you can't tell me that no, it's not are, happening. You no, not, I know that. can't tell there me there that it hasn't been will. said. Yeah. He didn't just it, pull that out of nowhere and, if and he's say heard it. it. If he's heard it, then he has every right to sit here and say that. But he also has to understand maybe, maybe a, a little, I know not everybody's like that. Well, like he said, you know, he has been an opponent in that building. How about this? How about this? Racism is abhorrent, and it should be called yeah, out. Obviously, and he did it in advance, and you have to respect that. I respect it too. Any fan that goes to uh, TD Garden, right? Is that what it is? Did I get that right? TD Garden, okay. yeah. On uh, on on Friday night, and says anything in that regard? Well, to get him out of there, get him out of there, take his or her season tickets yeah, away too. Absolutely. There's a line. It shouldn't be crossed, ever. And popcorn, you, I don't want to sit here, people sit here and I'm equating popcorn with racism, subtle or otherwise. It's just a form of abuse that's passed a line. Yeah, there was no and need. The guy got up out of his seat, leaned over, and it was just like, what are you yeah, doing? Like, what the hell? Like, what, what did you think was going to happen? But also, I'm not sure if you're going to get to this because you may not have seen this because it came out like, did you see the spitting incident? Somebody spat at Trey Young yesterday, right? Yeah. I mean, popcorn is one thing, and that's bad. Come but on. you're going to spit it's, on it's someone? It's kind of like the pandemic. Did people forget how to behave? I also see some video of like some fans beating the crap out of each other in like Houston. The Houston, yeah, Dodgers, with, you know, yeah. and it's just like if, I think fans <laughs> might need some sort of code of conduct reminder. I'll give it to you. Don't hit anybody. Don't spit at anybody. Don't throw anything at any of the people who are trying to entertain you. And by the way, uh, I think this goes for all walks of life. Don't be racist. Yeah, don't be racist. <laughs> yeah. I think you summed. Did it I up. handle that right? Yeah, I think you did, guys. Do we cover all of that? I think we're Sounds good. Sounds good. Jeez. Do we need a reminder of that? Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.